Hi, this video is about multi-digit subtraction models students can use and some strategies. Models are the same as we saw for addition, counters, base 10 models, and the open number line. The action is a little bit different. Let's take a quick look. If we were going to model 31 minus 17 with counters, we'd lay out 31 counters and then take away 17 of them and, uh, and then count what's left. Base 10 model, a little more sophisticated, a little easier because we can just use uh, our our models for 10 here sticks but we have to know that okay if I'm gonna take away 17 I can take away one of these sticks but now I'm gonna have to trade in a stick for 10 dots uh, to take away my seven dots the open number line there's a couple of different ways to think about this you can think about 31 and moving backwards 17 from 31 that's takeaway or you could think about uh, counting on if I if I think of this as 0 down here and I know 17 is in here what do I need to count on to get up to 31? That'll give me 31 minus 17. So let's take a look at a couple of those strategies that use that idea of subtraction by counting up. Um, one way to think about that is to add tens to get close and then once. So the idea here is I know that um, if, I, if I'm at 17 here and I need to get myself up to 31, if I can figure out how much I need to go to get up to 31, that'll give me 31 minus 17. I can some add some tens to get close to that, and then some ones. And uh, and in a lot of ways, this is actually more natural for kids to work with the open number line and think about it this way. Um, you can see, okay, 17, I can add a 10 to that, and I'll get up to 27. And now it's just four more to get myself up to 31. Or maybe they think about three and one. Uh, and then we can see, okay, the difference is 14. A similar one, uh, but slightly different, adding tends to overshoot and then coming back. So if I start at 17 here and I'm going to 31, well, I can add 10 and get myself to 27. I can add another 10 and get myself to 37. Oh, I overshot 31. So now I just need to move back 6, and I know that that'll get me to 31. How far did I go? I went up 20 and back down 6. Oh, that's 14. A third way to think about this, we can add 1's to make 10 and then add 10's and 1's. And this is kind of a nice way. If I'm at 17, I can say, okay, get me to a nice round number. I'm going to go up 3 to get to 20. And now I'm going to go ahead and jump 10 to get to 30. And one more to get to 31. And 3 and 1 and 10 is 14. So that's the uh, subtraction by counting up strategies. We can also do takeaway subtraction strategies. Uh, taking tens from tens and subtracting ones works really well when your uh, your larger number has a more ones than your smaller number. So it's not going to work as well on this one. It's a little bit awkward. But the thought is I can take 10 away from 30 and have 20. And then I need to take 7 away from 1. Well, I can't take 7 away, so I've got to take 1... Uh, 10 of those 20 and break it up to 11 and take away that. So modeling that, basically what we're saying is, okay, if we're at 30 and we jump down 10, we get to 20. I need to go um, 17 more. Well, here's one, or excuse me, seven more. Here's one, and then I can go six more here and get down to 14. A little bit awkward uh, with these numbers. It works really well if we would have had, for example, 38 minus 17. Better is to take away 10s and then 1s in this case. So here I'd start at 31 and let's take away 10, get me down to 21. And then I can take away 7 from there. Let's go ahead and take away 1 and then 6 more. And uh, that'll get me down to 14. I could also think about taking extra 10s and then adding back. So if I start at 31 and I, and I, I need to take away 17, let's just go ahead and take away 20 right away. That would get me down to 21, get me down to 11. Well, that's 3 too far, so I'll jump back 3, and I'll be at 14. And the last uh, strategy is to add to the whole if necessary. This one's a little bit different, but uh, here I'm saying, okay, it's, uh, it's not very easy to take 17 from 31, but it's pretty easy to take 17 from 37. So if I jump up 6... What's 17 from 37? Oh, I know that's 20, right? Well, that was 6 too far, so I better jump back down 6 here to end up at 14. And that's a little more sophisticated thinking, but those are several of the strategies students can use.